Welcome to Lola Lee Chat. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So Carlos was on Instagram live talking about Natalie Nunn. Unfollowing her, the chat was telling her it might have something to do with Callie because Carlissa had no idea why Natalie woke up today and unfollowed her. And the chat kept asking Carlissa who has the baby. They wanted to know if the baby is with Marsh because there has been rumors that Junior is actually not with Marsh. And I can't really speak on that because I have no idea. As far as I know, the baby is with Marsh. That baby is in good hands. So Carlissa is saying that Blueface's dad's message yesterday regarding the squatters. Well, Carlissa is saying that he was actually talking about Krishan. Carlissa also had a lot of smoke for Claudia Jordan from Fox Soul. Listen to this. Good morning. I was going to try to be hard, but that good morning broke me. Good morning. Thank you, my dear. Yeah, why she don't follow me? What I do? I said, fuck 50. What would I do? You're mad. You're... Thank you, boo. So I don't know why Natalie unfollowed me. I don't know what I did. I don't know what she um tripping on, but she better um follow me back. Like, girl, what's wrong with you? <laughs> she said I look like Janet Jackson is this curly wig. Remember that movie she went crazy on? <laughs> Natalie is in here. Girl, why you unfollow me? What'd I do? I thought we was, I thought I was auntie. Girl, what I done did? Girl, we got one million people on here. Tell them. Marsh has the baby. You guys already know who has the baby. Why do y'all keep asking that? Why are y'all making fun of her chin? She didn't got her chin fixed. I mean, her chin just grew into her face. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> She's probably mad at Callie. Me and Callie is two different people. Like, why? I she Callie told me not to get in the middle of none of her shit. Let's somebody put their hands on her. So I, I'm two separate. We're two separate. Is that what it is? You got something to do with Callie? Thank you for all the prayers for my son, y'all. It's working. I appreciate it. Keep praying. Keep praying that he got all his ducks in a row when he get home. I appreciate that. Have Callie chin check her. Y'all trying to get child Callie to lose her day job. <laughs> I told Callie not to go on there fucking with that woman. I said, don't go on there fucking with that woman. <laughs> Where do you see your numbers? My num You can't see my numbers. My number says a million people are on this live. Tell her. Somebody please tell her. Because she must be new to the group. All he got is his elephants in a row for the circus. <laughs> that was funny, bitch. <laughs> but I'm still about to block you. She said, who we talking about? Girl, now we done woke up and just started blocking motherfuckers. And I think I was one of them. <laughs> she just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and said, fuck Lissa. What Lissa do? I was auntie on the show when she pulled up. I was auntie on the couch. Now she just said, but listen, I'm auntie. Why was Blue Dad referring to Krishan as a squatter? That was giving me that they might have had, he might have heard how she treated the situation with the baby and she probably let off. And that's what that's given. It's given that Marsh probably told her yeah, that nigga daddy didn't even want to take your baby, girl. And the grandma was in there. She was going to take the baby, but 
but the daddy ain't want to take the baby. And you know how Krishan is. She probably was like, what, cuz? <laughs> what? <laughs> and it, it probably started giving that he started being, now he, now he calling people squatters. Because I don't know who else tried to squat up over there in the house got spirits roaming around and we ain't, ain't nobody trying to squat over there so i don't know who he could have been talking about everybody i know in our family done tried to get the fuck away from the squat from the house but i don't know who he could have been talking about i don't even think the burglars want to squat there so you know how you know how it went down you know she was like what cuz on cuz on school yard that's how the nigga was treating my baby <laughs> And yeah, so she probably banged on his daddy, and his daddy probably got in his feelings with his nail polish and was like, I'm gonna be over here and clean all this shit up because they're not cleaning up, and I gotta clean up <laughs> so I can put my fairy nail polish on and fucking peace. Because <laughs> you know, when people paint their nails, they gotta like sit down and clean off shit, you know, <laughs> you over there in the clean space to paint his fucking nails, okay? And that's why he couldn't watch the baby girl because he was like, uh-uh, I ain't going to be able to paint my nails up in here with no baby. <laughs> girl, you cannot paint your nails with a baby. You already know how that roll. <laughs> you can't even get your nails done with a baby, bitch. It's just not. <laughs> you sticking your fingers in their mouth, feeding them and shit. He's nigga got blue nail polish on trying to feed a baby boy. Hey, so, somebody get Cat Williams, man. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker is funny as fuck. So just in case you missed it, this is what Carlos is talking about. This is what Blueface dad wrote. He said, my son Blueface asked me to come stay to look over his house investment while he serves his time in jail, not anyone else. He knows who he can trust and he knows who he can't trust around his ish alone period here to keep things in line, looking good, clean, smelling good, and to make sure squatters don't come take over the house and look at all his little hashtags here on wanted hashtag unwanted guest hashtag home blah 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 he is all about his son so you know what at first when i saw this i didn't think he was talking about krishan but now the way that carlos had broke that down i could see krishan getting upset over what went down at that courthouse even though even though blueface dad was respecting her wishes by having Marsh take the baby, but him going on about he's not a babysitter. I could see her getting upset over that. And this is what else he said. He said this in the video. Back to square one, young. Blue put in place the most responsible parent to look over his investment while he's away so he can do his time peacefully. Bam, there you have it. Keep law and order. Somebody call Cat Williams. I, mean, I, I, was, I wasn't even doing my comedy act yet. I was fucking <laughs> dead. Your, I'm serious. That's comedy. This nigga got his nail polish on and called me ugly. That's Can you it. believe this motherfucker called me ugly? He got yeah. two strands of hair left on his that's head. It. He dyed two fucking strands of hair and trying to hold that skin together because you know that shit is falling down. Y'all already know that shit is falling down. He got like six uh, wrinkles already on his cheekbone. That kind of smoking cigarettes. Y'all better stay away from cigarettes. This nigga got like nine wrinkles on each side. <laughs> Talking about I'm ugly. Nigga, please. They in here adding Cat Williams, man. Why you didn't call that man? Yeah, he done got on the internet. And then what about the Claudia lady with the uh, chlamydia? The cl we, you, we used to call her Claudia Chlamydia Claudia. Claudia Jordan on there talking about, I don't know why blue face mama always on the internet trolling like, girl. Claudia. She doing? shut her mouth up real quick when that man said, now when she see your black ass on that BET Awards, she time? shut the fuck up so fucking quick. Like, girl, I done ran into you on a couple of jobs and you were standing there trying to host and <laughs> trying to keep your legs up. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Some some lady that look just like <laughs> like she ninety nine already. Yes, Chlamydia Claudia. That's what we used to call her back in the day. I don't know why she got such a big voice right now. She, her eggs are fried. She can't have kids because she had that fucking chlamydia. That Claudia Chlamydia lady. You know which one? Chill out on that, man. 
eggs is fried and dyed and laid to the side. Now, I don't know if she had the chlamydia. I just know that's what they used to call her back in my day. Claps, Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. Stay in the left two lanes. Good morning, y'all. We just had to address a few things this morning. Natalie blocked me. Claudia trying to clout chase off me. And, um. <laughs> Stay in the second or third lane from right. And it wasn't even funny. Like, girl. The media is not funny. Yeah, on her little punk ass show. That little punk ass show. Girl, wait, wait. Till, she just mad as hell that the auntie's podcast is about to take over her shit. And ain't nobody finna watch that bullshit, that Fox soul with Cl Chlamydia. Girl, no, she didn't try to use me for clout yesterday. You trying to, what happened? She was on there talking shit, talking about. Blueface mama want to have sex with him. Like, girl, that's why you don't have no kids. That's why you 50 and you don't have no heirs. That's why you 50 and you don't have no heirs at all. Because you don't deserve none. You get on the internet and tell mothers who raise their kids they want to have sex with their kids. You ain't finna, she ain't finna have man grandkid. No grandkids, no, no, no kids. She just here for no reason. Selling hundred thousand dollar houses in Texas, trying to act like she all that on that whack ass show. Tama, I'm gonna be giving out the. Tama, I'm gonna be giving out the awards. Hold on, I'm on a lot. Tama, I'm gonna be giving out the awards for the seat fillers, bitch. We're sitting down, enjoying ourselves. You're gonna be standing up. Now we seat fillers. Girl, yes, her eggs was dried up in the 90s. Didn't nobody want that help for nobody, okay? She couldn't even get a broke nigga to marry her. Like, girl, they didn't want no kids by you. Tell me I want to sleep with my son. It's okay, girl. She knows she too little to be talking to big auntie like that. Come on now. Go pick on somebody your own size. Girl, yes, scrambled eggs, Claudia, with the smoker's mouth. Girl, couldn't even get a broke ninja to marry her. I'm talking about nobody. Everybody that she thought was going to marry her for that toe-up coochie changed their mind <laughs> the day she gave it to them. She make it, She looked like she would make a good couple with Jonathan Daddy. <laughs> She won't blue daddy. I think that she'll make a good couple with him. For real. She could be the man and he could be the woman. He might be able to have a chill baby out, for man. her. Chill out, man, on that, man. Clap Claudia, yes. Wait till I let you hear what she said about me. You're gonna be like, no, keep talking about this bitch. She's a weirdo. I wanna I... <laughs> She already relevant. She relevant for the for the uh <laughs> sloppy coochie. <laughs> Everybody in the industry that had her, that pretended that they was going to marry her, did nobody marry her, and did nobody even let her have no baby. Everybody pretended to marry her. Literally, if you just go look up Claudia, her face is next to like 20 different niggas that said, I don't. <laughs> if you go look up Claudia's face right now, it's next to 20 different niggas she, that said, I don't. In two miles, turn right onto Goats Road. Mr. Stafford said, chill out. Yeah, he did. All right, we finna go eat with one of his co-workers. You know, I gotta go fake and be cute like I'm. Hi, how are ya? I gotta go act like, I gotta go put on my professional white girl spirit. So I gotta go get in character. You know, I gotta go, <laughs> I gotta go see the ground and the federal government people. <laughs> I like y'all way much better. So just so y'all know, I like being over here with y'all way much better, but I'm gonna go on over here to his uh, co-worker house for Juneteenth because they throwing my husband a Juneteenth <laughs> I'm trying to tell Mrs. Tapo they throwing a Juneteenth hey. get together just for your black ass yeah, put, a, put a bonus with it <laughs> girl he think they having a picnic girl for Juneteenth <laughs> they having a Juneteenth for your black ass okay <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. I tried to tell him, girl, this morning. He got on all black. Yeah, he's, a, he's a hater. <laughs> I said, why you want to go kick it with these people on your day off? It's Juneteenth. <laughs> you still want to go look at him. you a hater, man. Girl, yeah, you know I'm going to go on up over here with him, though, because he was trying to go by himself, make sure his white bitch pull up and know who, what, what I'm working with, okay? I got cute as fuck. I'm about to stand this big fat ass in her face. <laughs> Don't be laughing too hard, motherfucker. Hey, somebody get cat on here. Girl, I'm yeah. about to go yeah. show this ass to this lady. Oh, hi, you already know that white ladies at work. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> motherfucker, funny. Girl, yes, I got the donkey pants on too, honey, girl. Donkey Kong on this shit. Go past this light. Stain to turn onto Goat's Road. Barbecue, my baby, y'all. I'm about to play golf. They need to barbecue your black ass. I told you, don't go over here to no Juneteenth with your co workers. playing golf. We supposed to be at Compton or Watts right now. They about to get it cracked. I'm playing golf. Turn right, then turn left onto Canyon Lake Drive North. Right now, we gonna kick it. They gonna have some 40 ounces of old English, my nigga. They gonna have some 40 ounces of old English. We gonna slap some bones. At the light, turn left onto Canyon Lake Drive North. We some good ass barbecue. That's what we gonna do. We gonna get some good ass barbecue. You taking me over here to eat some fucking mashed potatoes right now. I don't want no mashed potatoes. I want some right. neck bones oh, and some up. hog maw. Okay, Tell them, right hold on, hold on. And then... Right when it get dark, we gonna leave because they gonna start shooting. And that's where I wanna go. I don't wanna go over here. You must as well go back to Youngstown. You must as well go back to Youngstown. I don't wanna eat no fucking mashed potatoes. You, you already know what they, the about to have. what they about to have over here to eat. Lasagna. Chicken and mashed hey, potatoes. Lasagna. Lasagna. Chicken and fucking mashed potatoes. Lasagna, man. They gonna put your black ass on the grill. Girl, put yeah, you taking down. me over here to the co-workers for Juneteenth. We, we supposed to be in Compton right now. Damn, damn Compton. What's in Compton? Oh, my God. Swap me. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all after I eat these fucking mashed potatoes. All right, so you guys heard what Carlos had to say. She has no idea why Natalie Nunn has unfollowed her. She went in on Claudia Jordan. She really went in on her. And she also went in on Blueface's dad. So what do you guys think about what she said that that Instagram post was directed towards Krishan, Blueface's dad calling Krishan a squatter? Do you guys think that it was directed towards her? And I guess if it was directed towards her, I guess that Krishan and Blue Face Dad are not on good terms anymore. So I guess we will see. Well, all I got to say is Blue Face Dad is really showing us who he really is. I'm going to just leave it at that. We should all have to just wait and see for ourselves what that was all about. Or maybe he will speak more on it. Who knows? But definitely let me know your thoughts. And thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.